What's going on, nerds? Welcome back. My name is Sned. So, this episode's kind of weird. I'm kind of all over the place. We need a way to store the power that we just amassed in the previous episode, and I kind of just went on a little tangent from there. Sorry about that. I don't know. Anyways, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you didn't, and please enjoy the episode. Also, be sure to check out the Twitch link down below and the Discord channel. The Twitch, oh boy, we are, actually, I think probably today when this episode goes live, a little bit later tonight, we're going to be fighting three withers at once. I've never done that before. We might be on horseback. Who knows? Uh, whew, the chat wants it to be done on a on horseback in a lava pool. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. But anyways, yeah, if you want to if you want to see that happen, uh, yeah, check out the Twitch down below. Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to start utilizing our new energy. And what I mean by that is we now have these super awesome freaking amazing quantum solar panels and these things rock they they kick out so much energy but the problem is we don't have the capability of pushing that energy and what i mean by that is tech reborn has all of these different cables and each cable only transfers energy at a certain speed so for example the insulated copper cable that's what most people i would say start with it has a transfer rate of 128 per tick. So what that means, at least to me, is that our our solar panels up there, oh, free leads. So what that means is that our solar panels here are pushing out more energy than what copper cables can transfer at a time. And the way to fix that is to upgrade the cables. Well, we did that. We have these glass fiber cables, which have a transfer rate of 8.1K, 8 8,000, 8,100 E per tick, energy per tick. So, what that instead means is that we need to start upgrading our battery boxes. These have an output rate of 32 E. That is not fast at all. The best one is this MFSU with an output rate of 512. And I think, I think that's all. I think that is the best one. The unfortunate part of it is that it requires six more Lapatron crystals. So I'm going to go ahead and grind out some of these. Uh, the MFE is pretty basic to make. And we're going to, we're going to get this, this MFSU. And that's all this uh, technical whirring in the background. I'm already starting the process. All right, so I kind of I kind of did a thing to speed up our uh, matter fabricator a little bit. I added two more recyclers going into a new auto crafting table. These are just using deep slate right now because I have so much of it. And then that's just shooting all of the matter into uh, or all of the uh, scrap boxes into the matter fabricator. We're going to need some platinum, but fear not, we should be okay in that department. I, I think we're gonna be okay anyways. I'll tell you one thing, the industrial circuits are so much easier to make now. Okay, so I've had to make a couple of changes. We're running low on power and for whatever reason the uh, the battery boxes weren't weren't feeding their stored energy, but it doesn't matter because by the time I changed it, uh, oh, they, they all blew through the power anyways. So, uh... I added these barrels on top just so I could add more and I don't have to sit here and listen to the insane grinding. This lost power momentarily. I threw one of the old solar panels on top of that line feeding to uh, the controller there. And I think I think that's it. I think that's it. We're, we're still just burning through power though, like nobody's business. Also, these uh, synthetic crystals are pretty slow to make. But we're, we're getting them slowly and surely. I think we might actually have enough red crystals now, though. Or energy energy crystals. I don't know. The red crystal thing. Yeah, I think, I think we do. What are we missing? We're missing the MFE. Boom. There's that guy. Oh, wait. Is there a, an achievement for that? One small step for man. Okay. And then the MFSU. We are missing two Lapatron crystals. One and we need one more platinum. That should be all the UU matter that we need. Bam, 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 and bam. 
Okay, I think... I think we're good now. I think we're good now. And then we should now be able to make our first MFSU. Oh boy. Oh boy, that was a lot of grinding. Let's see. One giant leap from it. Oh, uh, I, I like that. That's kind of cool. And this thing is great because it can hold 40 million. 40 million energy. Hello? There's a salesman selling leads. But anyways, this thing holds 40 million energy. And it has an input rate of 512 and an output rate of 512. So what that means, hopefully, is that we should be outputting... A lot faster now question mark well it's stopped charging up which I assume means that it is now putting energy into all of our devices uh, what do we have currently running I don't think anything it should definitely be charging right I'm confused I don't know why it's not charging it's weird because it like you're able to input on all sides of this thing but, for whatever reason, the solar panels aren't outputting to it. But if I change the dot from going down, the solar panels start to... You can see it kind of going down there. And they all should be, yeah. Maybe the energy is just getting taken too fast from this. Okay, well, while I figure this out, let me, uh, let me go ahead and do something else. I want to turn this back to pointing down so that it's pushing out well it should be pushing out I don't know but it's not receiving I don't know it's so weird what is going on anybody have uh, any ideas why why the battery isn't charging is it pushing out more than it's pulling in surely not nothing like nothing is nothing's being used right now but in the meantime I want to I want to check out this other this other thing yeah, this guy. We don't actually have any lapis lazuli blocks. But this LESU storage, I guess it's like a multi-block storage? Or like, energy storage? So one of them isn't that big of a deal, but a lot of them could be a big deal. And then, I think we might need this LESU controller. We need an LV transformer. Oh, we can make that easy. And the MV transformer, also easy. So that gives us nine of these to work with. I just want to, like, quick test. What does it look like? And then does it only become a block when I put this down, or... Oh. Five... Oh, wait. Hold on, so it has five million. Now it has six. Oh, so each one of these adds... A million. Interesting. And then it must be this controller that that you could push out the power from. Yeah, because I could move that dot. Interesting. Let's uh let's play around with this. So there, that's that's twenty million energy right there. That's half of what we just did. And it was just lapis. Ah. Uh, uh, uh my my brain is gonna explode. Well, either way, let's see if we could get this bad boy charging. Or at least, uh, I don't know, if we could get this thing to work properly. Now the question is, can any of these receive power? No, never mind. I'm not even going to finish the question. Fine. Okay. So we need more fiber. Okay, so that's now storing. This is still at 5.4, but if we turn it, it starts to go up. Hmm. Why? Why? Why does that happen? Somebody down in the comments, let me know what what am I doing wrong here? The uh, the dot exports power. That's the wrong term, but for all intents and purposes, the dot exports the power. So when I have the dot facing down into the rest of the system, why, even though nothing is running, oh, the wires hold. Oh, the wires hold. Hmm, the wires could hold, like, certain amounts of energy, like a little buffer, right? Isn't that a thing? That's probably why. So whatever wires are newly added, this thing is probably trying to fill those up first. If I had to guess? So, 
the power is going into it and then immediately out so we don't see any change. Let's let this get full first and we'll we'll go from there. Then we'll see if there's any sort of change. I want to let this guy get full as well. There's one more thing that I knew we needed Lapatron crystals for, and that's the Nano Saber. I think it is finally, finally time for us to upgrade to this bad boy. So let me grab two more, two more platinum from the matter fabricator thingy, and another energy crystal, and uh, let's let's upgrade to the Nano Saber. While I wait for things to cook up. Where are we at on defense? 22? Man, that's nowhere near 40, is it? I guess glass half full, it's over halfway? Well, by the time we hit 40, at least we'll be able to, uh, make the quantum armor. I could, you know, just grind for that stuff off camera and then get ready to make the quantum armor. Uh, the dragon armor wouldn't be too bad. 32 to 40, that'll be a big jump, depending on how much I AFK at the, uh, the blaze grinder over there. None of this other stuff we really, we really want. Even, like, the Eternium stuff, eh. The dragon armor is probably the coolest, and that's only for the chest plate added with the elytra so that we could fly with the chest plate. But, like, that's not, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Anyways, there's our 10 UU matter. There's our 2 platinum. There's our two ingots, there's our two plates, and finally, our two industrial circuits. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. Anybody else excited? I know I am. And boom, nano saber. Now we need to charge it. That's fine. Oh, the same thing is happening while we charge this. The, uh, the energy from the, like, in here isn't going up at all, because it's immediately getting put into the nano saber. So that must be it. The energy is just filling the wires, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's it. But yeah, somebody somebody down in the comments, let me know what's going on with this. Why, when I point it downwards, does it not fill up with energy? But there we go. We have the Nano Saber now. How do we activate this thing? Uh, V. Oh, nope. G. T. Uh, right click. Oh, shift right click. Okay. So does it use energy while... Oh, it doesn't use energy while it's on. 25 attack damage versus 16. That's huge. I want to I wanna go one-shot something now. Oh, I see our first volunteer. It doesn't one-shot zombies? Well, I guess they have more health anyways. It's still most of their health. And what, a crit is 50? If I could crit. There we go. Now, the million dollar question. Can we enchant this thing? That would just be too broken, right? Surely? Oh my gosh, I think we can. Oh my gosh. So if we put... Oh, oh I need a book and, and a flint and steel. That dragon sword does look really cool, though. Uh, excuse me. Okay, and the anvil. Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh, 28 attack damage. That's insane. What do we- what do we name this thing? What do you guys think? Somebody- somebody down in the comments, give me a name. Let's go with the, uh, the top liked name will be the name of the Nano Saber. Now, how do we test this thing's capabilities? Hmm. I could think of one really, really good way to test this this new power. And we need to run to the nether quick to, uh, to find the required ingredients. Oh man, walking through soul sand is so slow. I'm used to having soul span... I'm used to having soul speed three on my, uh, my boots in the uh, the server. Speaking of server, if you guys want to watch me uh, me and a bunch of other content creators play on a vanilla server, check out my uh, check out my Twitch. The link is in the description below. We started it a couple weeks ago. We just beat the dragon. It was interesting. Uh, I did not get the kill unfortunately, but we did respawn the dragon and get the kill ourselves. 
And the next stream, we're going to be fighting three Withers. And we also want to do a Wither versus a Warden fight, see what happens there. I have a pretty good idea as to what's going to happen. But it'll still be interesting to watch, I think. And you guessed it. The way we're actually going to test our sword out is by summoning the dragon again. And I even brought my elytra. Just... Oh, I could... S oh. Ooh. Just so we, uh... We could fly around and pop some of these crystals. So, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and summon this bad boy. Or, I guess, girl. Ouchies. The dragon tried to boot me out of the air. That's not fair. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? There's Sheldon Knight on this... Oh my gosh, I am so ticked off. I can't believe- Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed by that. Come here, dragon. Well, that was pretty simple. What was that, like nine hits with the sword, I think? Oh wait, we get more dragon skills. Well, anyways guys, that's gonna be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode.